Hi guys, Jibby News truly is a comedy show. So it seems a guy who runs a TikTok account who claims to be from Afghanistan has issued a threat against Nigel Farage. Now Farage has described the individual as an illegal migrant, but his current status and whereabouts are unknown. It isn't entirely clear who the individual is and what he's doing, but GB News is turning it into a major story. Here one of their hosts spoke to a human rights lawyer and the whole thing descended into chaos. Have a listen to this. And if you saw that intro there, but we have a clear death threat to a sitting MP from an illegal Afghan Im immigrant, started his journey in Stockholm, went through Germany, now is in France. Let's face it, he could travel illegally in a dinghy tomorrow to Britain and there's nothing we could do whatsoever to deport him because he's an Afghan and it would, it would contravene his human rights to be deported back to Afghanistan, despite the fact he's issued a clear death threat to Nigel Farage, a sitting MP. On what level is that in any way acceptable? Hi. Um, yeah, so the main thing is, I mean, I think deportation or keeping people away or sending people away from this country, I think somehow we think that's some sort of I know, panacea or some sort of treatment, some sort of solution to all our problems. Um, the, the, the main thing is, I mean, if, for instance, this person has done this, if this was happening in uh, any other situation, we'd have said, you know, or if potentially he's committing a, a you know, criminal offence, which, of course, issuing a death threat is, then, if anything, we, we would be extraditing him to the UK because we want to try him here and we want to prosecute him and we want to punish him if his crime is proven, which, I mean, well, obviously, no, it's, no, you know, it's right there that. in front no, of us. No, but, so no, the point no, is, no, we, no we don't want to do that, Shob Khan, because that would then make him our problem. It would make him a liability of the British taxpayer because he'd be straight in Nick and we'd have to pay his food and lodgings for years. That isn't the answer. The answer that people really want is to stop people like this getting to our country in the first place. Yeah, to be honest, I mean, legally or logically or practically, I just don't think that solution, you know, like they say, well, enemies, you know, keep your friends close, but your enemies close. And the point is, you know, this is what we do every time. I mean, anyone's making threats against us, you know, whether against an individual or against the security, against the country, we just want to keep them. Do we really, are we, is that really what we're saying? As long as this person is not within the UK, he won't be able yes. to harm Nigel Farage or anyone else. I don't yes. think that's true. And that, that, that's, that is, that is what very, I'm very, saying. Very, and that is what the, I, I that is what the very, vast very majority naive. of people would say. Why on earth, come on, why on earth should an illegal Afghan immigrant issuing death threats to legal, legally elected representatives in the UK be, be welcomed into our country so we can arrest them? The answer is not to let them come in the first place. Are, are we really that naive that we think, you know, if he really is hell-bent on um, harming someone in the UK, he won't be able to do that or arrange that somehow? Um, if well, you're yeah, not in the country, miles of water in the way. <laughs> Beyond absurd. Absolutely ridiculous. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so it seems there's this guy who's issuing threats against Nigel Farage, and the host's response is, well, we don't let him in. Okay, well, if he's crossing the channel in a dinghy, how do you stop it? How do you identify him and say, you're not allowed to cross the channel in a dinghy? You know, and... We need to deport him to Afghanistan before he gets to Britain. Like, how would that work? Like, first of all, you can't ask other nations to deport people to countries that you don't have an agreement with. Remember, nobody seems to have an agreement with the, with the Taliban, the people who run Afghanistan. So you're saying we need to s deport this guy to Afghanistan before he gets to Britain. And if he does get to Britain, he needs to be deported to Afghanistan as well. Okay, Germany, France, Belgium, wherever he is, they don't have an agreement with the Taliban. They can't deport people to Afghanistan. Britain can't deport people to Afghanistan either. So how the heck is he going to be deported to Afghanistan? Look, as the human rights lawyer has pointed out, it makes more sense if he has committed a crime against Nigel Farage that he be brought to Britain, tried in a court of law, and then put in prison if he has committed an offence. But the GB News response is, no, we don't want to do that. We just want to deport him to Afghanistan, a country we don't have an agreement with. D does this host actually have a functioning brain? Think about it for a moment. You want to send somebody who isn't in your country at the moment to a country that you don't have an agreement with. And you don't want to... Uh, extend a right to a trial 
if he does arrive in the country because he has issued threats against Nigel Farage. Now, even if we have evidence of this and it's clear, clear as, as day that he's a threat to Nigel Farage, where is the best place he can be? He's in prison, not in Afghanistan. If he wants to, if he's escaped from Afghanistan, he can escape again. If he's got, if he's travelled through different countries in Europe, he can travel through those countries again. The the best place for him, if he's a threat to society and threat to Nigel Farage, is in jail. Why is this so difficult? Well, we don't want him in our jail because it's a cost. That's the cost of keeping people out of circulation keeping them away from society forcing them back to countries that they've escaped from is not going to work <laughs> especially if you don't have an agreement with those countries it's nonsensical everything said here makes zero sense the idea that you can deport somebody to a country you don't have an agreement from another country or even from your own country and the fact that you don't want to put people who are a danger to society in prison away from society and away from individuals that they're threatening. Maybe this works. Maybe this rhetoric is, is music to the ears of Reform UK voters or GB News viewers. But it's nonsensical. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.